What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to RPEG Electronics. So, uh, in the recent month, it's February now in 2022, there have been a couple new uh, low-end GPU releases, the RTX 3050, some AMD stuff, but I thought that the prices, well, I actually, I knew that the prices weren't going to be the MSRP. So, you know, it was supposed to be like 250 bucks, but after a while, it just, at, you see at Micro Center, it's like 400, almost pushing the 500 point. At that point, you might as well just get a 1660 or, you know, pay another 100 bucks and get a 3060 scalper price or whatever. It's not even worth it. But today I wanted to show you guys my alternative, what I like to do. This is the uh, HP Elite Desk G4. All right. I'm going to have a few of these for sale on my website at fair prices. All right. These, um, there are several versions of this. The one that I like to use has the 2400 GE Ryzen, Ryzen 5. 16 gigabyte RAM, 256 gigabyte NVMe, and is running the 35 watt power supply, if I'm not mistaken. Should be 35 watts. Oh, 65, oh, sorry, 65 watts. I'm sorry, 65 watt power supply. The 35 watt version is much weaker. And uh, yeah, this is, these are gonna be, of course, in perfect uh, condition. Everything's gonna look brand new. It's gonna have a display port out, but I will include an adapter. I will include a display port to HDMI adapter for you. You have four HDMIs in the back. All right, this is, oh, sorry, four USBs in the back. You can plug in your controllers here, your ethernet jack, your VGA out for some odd reason. Um, and you have USB-C in the front, which I believe is uh, USB 3.1. You're not gonna get USB 3.2 in this one liter package right now and two USBs in the front. So I like to use this for my light gun drive, meaning that if I wanted to take this to my friend's house or put it in a, a small arcade cabinet, like an arcade one-up mod, or build a Game Room Solutions tiny cabinet, this is what I would like to use because the, the price for what I'm gonna sell it for is it's gonna fluctuate up and down depending on what I can get them for from um, you know my suppliers and stuff, but they're gonna be very fair. Put it this way, it'll, it'll cost less than an actual GPU. Uh, like a, it'll cost less than a 3060 pretty much. All right, and I've tested it. You can play almost every game in 1080p, uh, no problem, at 60 frames per second. And if you have a bigger screen, sorry, a nicer monitor, you can actually do 1080p 120 hertz too for um, just for like your casual daily use. But the games will play 60 because that's what they're capped at. So enough talk. I'm gonna plug it in and let's enjoy. All right. So as you guys know, I only film on my iPhone. I do not uh, do any fancy edits or anything, mostly because I don't know how. So I'm plugging in the HDMI cable. I am using a portable monitor now because it's just easier. I set up three different workstations and then uh, my wife occupies one. My big one is just two, 48 inches is too much to film on. And this portable monitor uh, runs off a USB battery pack. So I'm gonna plug in my, uh, USB dongle, and you see it's really fast to boot, actually, because it's not a 2.5 SSD, it's an NVMe, so M2, M.2. So this is my mouse. All right. And I'm also gonna plug in my um, launch box build on this tiny drive here. Okay. So if you're gonna buy this from me, all right, which I always appreciate the support, of course, we're gonna have, it's gonna be completely, um, Perfect. Basically, the the Windows 11, I'm going to install Windows 11 on it for you guys. It's going to be completely clean, zero bloatware. I even delete all the like stupid Solitaire and Spotify and crap like that. All the drivers for emulation are going to be pre-installed for you, okay? So you don't have to worry about any of that. All right, now I'm going to zoom in on the screen a little bit because this is only a 13-inch screen. I got this from Amazon for like 120 bucks, I think. All right, but this screen is actually great just for uh, testing stuff out. Okay, got my mouse here. I'm gonna open up my drive. And I've actually been kind of spoiled, but using LaunchBox off a spinning drive is a crappy experience. I'm all SSD now. I suggest you guys do it too. It's just not even just for the sake of loading speed, just for like data consistency. Look how fast that loaded up, all right? So, okay, see, there's no, there's no lag uh, bringing up the images or anything like that. 
I don't have Gunfire R set up on this tiny monitor. I, I'm not going to set it up because it's um, well, relatively pointless. I'm going to be moving this around all the time. But I'm just going to show you guys some of the most complicated games to run, all right? Um, the more CPU heavy one. Things like MAME, no problem. You can run MAME on a cell phone at these days. Yeah, th things like Area 51, no, no big deal. They play fine. The built-in uh, APU is more than enough to run these. All right, I'm using a mouse to play, very easy. Okay, I'm gonna escape this, all right? So, MAME, no big deal, all right? You can play Blue Estate on this, it's perfectly fine. Uh, big Buck Arcade Hunter, a uh, Big Buck Hunter Arcade is perfectly working. Shout out to um, Mystery Encoder for doing this one. And on an SSD, on a Samsung portable flash drive like this, it loads so quick. Yeah, you pay more, but you know what? How much is your quality of life worth? All right, it's playing perfectly 1080p because that's the maximum resolution of this screen. 60, 60 frames per second, not a problem. Come on, dear. There we go. That's actually the regular loading time of the game. That's nothing to do with the flash drive. Okay, and... I always hate these games, actually. They're actually very hard to play. Ah. Okay. All right. So PC games running fine. All right, let's move on to um, Scarlet Dawn is not gonna play on this. I guarantee you that. Uh, there are certain games that actually require uh, GTX NVIDIA cards that just aren't gonna run. Uh, Matt Bullets, it's, Matt Bullets runs on a 10 year old laptop, so. Things like this is no problem. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I forgot to install the driver for that one. All right, so we'll, we'll skip that one. We'll go to something else. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, right. So the console stuff is where it gets interesting. All right, Nintendo Wii will run, no problem, 60 frames per second at uh, six at a 720p resolution. So you can do 2x resolution, basically. You can upscale Nintendo Wii to 720p and still maintain 60. At 1080p, it is pushing the APU a little bit too hard, and you, on the 30 frames per second games like House of the Dead, or most of them, you're probably not gonna get full speed emulation on the Gunslingers game, which is running at 60, you do get 60 frames per second. I actually don't have my guns plugged in, so my mouse is not gonna work. This requires a demo shooter, but it is running at full 60 from the indicator on top, okay? You'll just have to uh, trust me on this one. Okay. The one that's the hardest to run, all right, even for like a 1080, 1050 Ti graphics card would be PlayStation 3. Our PCS3 is a very difficult emulator without a fast CPU. So I'm gonna try Time Crisis 4, all right, using my special scripts, of course. And of course, you see how fast it loads. All right, if you want, like, I only use Samsung SSDs at this point for the portable stuff. This is the one I use um, when I want to put in more uh, more games. This is a T7. A two terabyte T7, I think it's like $240 now. It's expensive, don't get me wrong. It's versus like a eight terabyte spinning Seagate Barracuda is 140. So, but you get what you pay for. I mean, this, you can, you can shake this all you want. This is, there's no moving materials in here, so. 
you know, a trade. And this does have 256 gigs built in on the SSD itself, on the M2. So you could essentially put a small amount of games on this and not even run it off a of flash drive and it'll run even faster. Okay. I don't know why on this crosshair over here, it all this uh, the emulator ever since the update has been a little wonky. It's just specifically this crosshair. There we go. All right. So I'm gonna exit out of this. This emulator is still updating uh, pretty much every two days, by the way. So if you have uh, PS3 games, don't forget to change the, um, the emulation. Upgrade the emulator. All right. So this one runs at 30 frames per second natively, okay? It's not uh, like Raising Storm or Dead Storm Pirates, which can, actually Dead Storm Pirates is also 30. Raising Stor Storm is the only one at 60, but if this one runs, everything else runs. I'm running this at 1x resolution, okay? I mean, realistically, you're not gonna get 4K playback out of this for anything. 4K is just uh, not plausible. Without a, at least a, 3060 1080 Ti. That's the last hardware I had that worked on. But if you're doing a, uh, you know, 24 small inch screen, it looks great. The PS3 couldn't do better. That's the original. All right, here we go. All right, very smooth playback. You can use pedals on this too. All of my USB pedals work. All right, switch to machine gun. There's no lag. You know, I've actually never even gotten past like the second level of this just because all I do is tinker. I barely play. All I do is configure stuff. Right, let's try a shot, shotgun. Yep, this game really takes advantage of more threads on a CPU. So the 2400 GE is holding up very nicely. And of course, you want to make sure that your drivers are fully updated. If you're buying this from me, it will everything will be done for you. All right, all you have to do is install your own games. But yeah, all the drivers will be done. And Windows will be updated to the whatever is available on, on that date with a legitimate copy of Windows, so you can update all you like. Because uh, right now this on Amazon is going for like 800 bucks, but that, that's, a rap, that's a grossly inflated price. Like I'm expensive, but not that expensive. Okay, so Time Crisis uh, 4 running very nicely. Time Crisis Five, I haven't even tested yet. I'll, I'm gonna do. I'll do a live test for you guys just to see see if it's any good, uh, see if it can run. All right, this is the 1080p version. I have a 720p script which launches it um, at a lower resolution to take it take it easier on some of the CPUs. But let's see if uh, 1080p even runs. This is not gonna run with my mouse because I have it set up with a demo shooter for light guns. But let's just see if it even loads up. I am not very confident on this one, but we'll see. All right, well, we already got past the, the boot screen. Yeah, without a um, demo shooter, I can't even <laughs> click the one player. Ah, come on. There we go. Actually, at 1080p, it looks okay. It looks like it's uh, doing full speed. 
I'm just gonna skip all these cutscenes and see if we can even get into some uh, regular gameplay. I just want to see the animations. If it loads. Actually, it looks like a, yeah, Time Crisis 5, playable at 1080p. Again, I've never gotten to the end of this game, but if uh, if you wanted to, I do have a, 700, a 720p script. Um, you can play this at lower resolutions, and it should work decently on this hardware. But it looks like even at 1080p, we're getting 60 frames per second. Like it's very, after a certain point, it's very easy to tell. Okay, so wonderful. All right, this portable little mini PC is great as a light gun drive. I am building a new drive, which is arcade exclusive only, which means no, no bullshit uh, Windows games, no console games other than the arcade ports. You know, there are some games um, that were only available on console. They were never arcade dumps. Uh, just, just to see, I'm gonna do a test video on that one later. You know, we'll play some Marvel vs. Capcom 1, 2, 3, We'll do a Street Fighter up to number five and see how it handles. I have tried Tekken 7 on this before. Tekken 7 um, at 720p resolution can hit 60 frames per second, but that that is kind of pushing it already because Tekken 7 is much more graphic intensive than everything else. All right. Uh, oh, there was one that um, Silent Scope on Xbox. Not many people know about this one, but it is playable now. Well, actually, only Silent Scope 2. Silent Scope uh, 1 and 3 still have bugs. But 2 is still very fun. You can play this whole, uh, like, a sniper battle thing. This is running the Xbox emulator in double resolution, so that will be 720p in stretched aspect ratio, but it is working fine. This one works with just a regular mouse, so. See, I got the scope running. I can I can crotch sh shot him here. Right. Headshot. Headshot. Crotch shot. I missed a crotch a little bit. Come on. Ass shot. What? Hard? No, that was, that was totally the ass. All right. But this one runs very well. Full speed, of course. Okay, and that's about it, guys. I just wanted to show you this. This is the mini PC. It'll be available on rpegelectronics.com or if anyone just wants it real quick, just send, send me a message. My info is always in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, we'll try to do some more um, cool emulation type videos. Very uh, ETA Prime style, okay? You know, without the fancy editing and the nice table and um, the million subscribers and, and, and money. Yeah, thanks. All right, see you guys next time.